My name is Amita Swadin, and I'm a queer, genderqueer, femme organizer living in Los Angeles. I run a program called Mirror Memoirs, which uplifts the narratives and leadership of QTPOC survivors of child sexual abuse. I think sexiness for me is embodied in people who really know themselves and feel fully expressed and safe tapping into their erotic energy. Uh, without necessarily feeling forced to do something beyond their boundaries. So people who are really self-aware and able to set their boundaries and respect their boundaries while still having fun and being empowered erotically. If I could give any advice to my younger self about sex, it would probably be that it's possible to be sober and present and embodied and really emotionally, intimately connected to someone and still have that be a casual experience. That just because you experience authentic connection with someone, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to rush into a relationship. That sex can be casual and fun, but still really sober and present. I think my greatest fear is that we will, as human beings, continue to continue to perpetuate a culture that really ignores young people and even oppresses young people instead of putting young people at the center of our work for social change and learning how to take leadership cues from young people. I'm not afraid to get an HIV test because I had my first HIV test when I was 16 after years of surviving sexual violence and uh, taking that step was a really empowering way to be in charge of my own health, to know what was truly going on with my body. I had not ever had control over my body, and so going to the doctor, disclosing my history of surviving sexual violence, and consenting to a test about my own sexual health felt like a really good experience. And as an adult who is sexually active, it continues to feel like a really empowering way to just know what's up with my body and uh, what's up with my health.